What's up guys? Hey, today I want to talk to you about self-defense. Uh, we've been asking people to submit questions. You can submit a question at www.faithandvictory.com slash question um, and ask a question. So someone asked a question about self-defense. Um, is, is it biblically okay for a Christian to defend themselves? And, and I got a few scriptures that I want to share with you. Uh, one of which is from the Old Testament in Exodus 22. It says, it's of a, Exodus 22, 2 through 3, it says, If a thief is found breaking in and struck so that he dies, there shall be no blood guilt for him. But if the sun has risen on him, there shall be blood guilt for him. He shall surely pay. If he has nothing, then he shall be sold for his theft. There's another one in Romans 13, 4 that says, For he is God's servant for your, your good. But if you do wrong, be afraid, for he does not bear the sword in vain, for he is a servant of God, an avenger for, excuse me, avenger who carries out God's wrath on the wrongdoer. And then the other scripture that I want to share with you is Proverbs 25, 26, that says, like a muddied spring or a polluted fountain is a righteous man who gives way before the wicked. And I'm not going to do a Bible study on those scriptures. You can go and you can read those three scriptures. In the most simplest of terms, what I want to tell you is that I do not believe that it's biblically wrong to defend yourself or defend another person. Um, Jesus said that we should turn the other cheek. And a lot of times people use that as uh, a scripture to say, well, uh, God is against violence or God is against anybody using self-defense. But the context is always important when understanding the Bible. And so uh, that scripture says, turn the other cheek. If you notice around that same area in Matthew, Jesus also says, if your right eye causes you to sin, gouge it out. If your right hand causes you to sin, cut it off. Um, Jesus used this kind of figurative language to kind of uh, paint a picture. And I, I don't believe that Jesus wants us gouging our eyes out. I don't believe that Jesus wants us cutting our hands off. Um, but I do believe that in a relational sense that Jesus says to people, like, allow yourself to be wrong. Like, it's okay if if somebody uh, does something against you, it's it's okay if somebody says something against you. It's, it's okay. You just have to suffer as a Christian. Um, on, on the other hand, Jesus also said, if, if anybody did anything uh, to these children, it would be better for a millstone to be thrown around their neck and then to be cast in the sea. So Jesus himself actually advocates violence towards somebody who does something bad towards children. He said, if you hurt any of these little children, you should have a millstone thrown around your neck or put, excuse me, put around your neck and be thrown into the sea. So Jesus even advocates violence while at the same time trying to negate violence. So what do I believe? This is what I believe. There's no way that if you are in, in within arm's reach of a violent act that you should stand back and say, hey, it's okay. Turn the other cheek. I'm just going to allow this person to uh, commit physical or sexual violence upon my family and just idly stand by. No, the Bible is very clear. If you're a wrongdoer that's doing wrong and then another person exacts physical harm upon you, you, you as the person that's inflicting physical harm upon the wrongdoer now become uh, the hand of God himself where his wrath is coming upon the wrongdoer. And so uh, as, a, as a Christian, and I understand, man, there's probably a lot of you that are going to say in the comments, you don't agree with me and that's fine. But as a Christian, I fully believe that it is okay to stop another person's violence with violence to protect an innocent person. I don't believe that uh, that as a Christian, you have to stand idly, uh, idly by and watch another person experience physical or, or, or uh, sexual harm and just stand by and say, hey, I'm just turning the other cheek. So uh, don't go looking for violence. Don't be the aggressor. Don't be the person that's going to go off and uh, be violent with somebody just because you feel like violence is the hand of God. I'm talking specifically when somebody else is trying to perform violence on somebody I believe as a Christian, you have every right to step in and uh, stop that person from performing violence by whatever, by whatever means necessary that you have in your hands. So that's my thought of the day, man. If you got something out of this, please like, share, and comment. I'd love to hear your comments about it. Um, if we're not friends on social media, please friend me, find me. I'm on all the big ones. Make sure you head over to YouTube, throw us a like so that uh, we can grow that channel as well. And if you have a question, please submit it. Love you guys. Have a great day. Bye. we're going to have some God glorifying worship 
some great Bible teaching. You're going to have a great... Uh, uh, they're going to have a... Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> All right. At least I know what to put at the end of the video. <laughs>